All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, two plus one clean and jerk at, I believe, 70 kilos, an attempt from Delaney. It's fast out of that bar, but it's crashing a little bit. Not bad on that first clean, though. This is like 80% of her best back squat. Maybe more. Man, she's getting under that bar so fast, but it's a grind to stand up if you don't meet the bar. All right, let's see what happens on the jerk. Oh, no. Okay. All right, so let's go and take a look at these cleans first of all. So start position, starting position looks, you can kind of see and as she sets up that bar rolls away from her there for a second and she doesn't get it back into her. So that's one thing is I always just say like, make sure you're keeping that bar close uh, in your start position and try not to roll that bar around much. We've got hips above knees, shoulders above hips. Looks like good position. She might be shifted back onto her heels a little too much in that start, but nothing too bad. Now she starts her lift, breathes. I don't like this breathing and then immediately going like that. It's a little too much of a yank for me. I'm not a huge fan of that, um, but she does kind of she does make it work. She's putting up some big numbers here. Knees are out of the way. Shoulders above the hips still, so she's not getting pulled over, which is beautiful. But here's where this clean starts to go wrong. Right here, see her heels are starting to come up already. Kind of doing like a little Michael Jackson clean over here. That's going to limit how much power you can actually get from your legs to drive the bar up. Right? You can see that she's finished her pull as far as her legs go without having really opened up her hips all the way. So she's losing a whole lot of just from the glutes and the hamstrings alone. She's losing so much power in that position. So I would say big thing she needs to work on is keeping those heels down, keeping them flat and you know, keeping that bar close enough so that you can really drive the bar up with your legs instead of hitting it. And then we've got a, we've got a lot of space between the bar and her shoulders. So at this point, in her turnover, I want to see that bar already touching her shoulders. All right. We should see, you know, I'll bar stay a little bit closer right here. And then bar makes contact right there and the elbows start to come around, but instead it kind of crashes and she's got a, she's got a double bounce to get that clean up, which can make it look a lot grosser than it actually needs to be. Uh, the second clean was pretty similar to that first one, if I remember correctly. Setup position looks the same. Great. Knees out of the, She did get kind of pulled o a little bit more pulled over there than the one before. The same thing happened here. You know, as she's transitioning from the knee to the hip, her hips are coming forward a lot. That's causing her heels to come up. Instead, she wants to kind of, instead she needs to almost lean back a little bit more and continue to try and imagine pushing through her heels, pushing through the center of her foot, or I like to cue pushing through the ankles the whole time. That's going to help her finish her pull a little bit more aggressively. The so same thing is kind of on the last one. Had to double bounce to get it up. Let's take a look at the jerk. This is where she missed the complex. All right, so it was a little bit of a rush dip. So she breathes, and then she kind of just goes right down into it. You can kind of let's play that in speed. Breathe, go. And she's dipping really fast. So anytime that you dip fast, that weight is going to be working its way down. And it's going to be really hard to reverse against that weight and drive. So I would always recommend most people dip a little bit slower than you think you need to and drive up fast and punch yourself under even faster. Now here is where she starts to miss it. 
front foot hits first. We want to go the other way. We want back foot first. It's close, though. They're almost hitting at the same time. I'd like to see back foot, anchor that back foot first, and then head through and really commit to head through. But instead, she's leaning away from it. She's trying to, she's got the bar way out in front of her like that. Um, a lot of the time, it's just because it might feel like you're not going to be able to make it. So uh, there's not as much commitment mentally that there should be. And committing to a jerk after two cleans is pretty ch- pretty tough. So, it, you know, that kind of makes sense as well. I think that jerk might have been a little bit more mental than it was technique. Yeah, I, it might have been a little bit more mental than it was technique. I'd like to see her try to control her dip a little bit more and drive that bar back and commit to throwing your head through and getting that head through. Because if you can get the head through, more than likely, especially if both the elbows are locked out, you're going to be able to recover it. So that'd be the big thing here. So yeah, just to recap, keep the heels flat, push through the ankles on the clean, try and meet the bar high and pass through the squat instead of having it crash on you. And then commit on the jerks. You got to really try and really got to go for it. It takes a lot of courage to just put that bar back there uh, and, and actually work for it. And then the other big thing is slow down that dip. It's going to help a lot.